What's up, everyone? This is Kevin Rample here from the Sledge Hockey Experience, and I've got three of the ladies from the Canadian Women's National Sledge Hockey Team with me. I've got Claire Buchanan on my left, Christina Picton, and Nandini Sharma on my right. So I just wanted to catch up, talk a little bit about what's going on in the world of women's sledge hockey. Ladies, yeah. <laughs> we just finished an awesome uh, game playing with the Mississauga Cruisers. Nana, let's start it off. Tell us a little bit about how the weekend's going at the Cruisers Cup. Uh, it's going pretty good. We won our first game. That game was pretty close. Their game's going well. We have our last game at 6.30 tonight, so I'm pretty excited. Great recap. The Canadian women's team is, uh, and just women's sledge hockey in general is starting to make some really great um, headway. Like there's just more people always becoming involved in the sport. Um, where would you say that the women's side of the sport stands this year in comparison to last year? There's a lot more girls coming out and trying the sport. And so that just gives the next generation a whole lot of foundation to build on. Right on. And what's going on in New Market where more people have an opportunity to get in a sled and play? Uh, so in New Market, uh, November 17th weekend, we have a uh, series. Our provincial women's team is playing in the Quebec provincial women's team. And that'll be a three game series. And it will also include ice time that's like drop in and anyone can come and try it and uh, get in a sled and skate with some of the national women that are there that weekend. So. Unreal. Okay, in Newmarket, Ontario, is an opportunity to get on the ice at the Magna Center. That's right. And uh, tell us a little bit about, um, I'm going to go to you, Nana. I know you don't want me to. <laughs> tell me a little bit, just start us off with the uh, mentorship that's, uh, well, that's definitely. That's 100% Christina right there. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> so um, last year we started a pilot program in Alberta, Ontario, and Quebec, and it's basically the leaders from the national team, uh, putting together day camps where we have practice and we get uh, beginners out and we're teaching new players and people that want to work on their skills. It's just, it's an opportunity to uh, to get on the ice and learn and uh, try it. And um, they we try to get two or three done in a season, like per province. So it's really, really important. Uh, if you are keeping up with us on social media, you can see the dates and the times and the places and you can get out on the ice with us. Amazing. So for those who do want to stay in touch, who are looking for that opportunity, give me the uh, the links, the addresses and the handles. Claire, Claire what are the handles? <laughs> uh, so it's... The final thing I think we were going to chat about too is uh, you're looking to do some fundraising. So I got on one of your... Uh, Canadian CWSH t-shirts <laughs> for those of you who, who would like to support the Canadian women's national team um, Grabbing a shirt online is one of the, the uh, Best ways so Nana what else do you have any other merchandise available? Uh, we got a sweater that Christina's wearing we got a couple shirts and we got a hat that just came out So definitely check it out. And you're sporting everything? <laughs> Clearly <laughs> Awesome, so we're gonna fundraise for Nana to get some of her own clothing <laughs> Um but check out CanadianWomenSledgeHockey.com yeah. yeah. online to per pick up some merchandise and uh, give these ladies a follow. Always out here trying to help grow the sport. So keep doing what you're doing. It's awesome, awesome work. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Awesome, guys. Okay, see you soon.